Welcome to Bear Pantry Talk. This is the sister channel to the Bear Pantry Show. This is where you're going to find honest reviews, exciting unboxings, do-it-yourself projects, and engaging commentary. What do I think if you have a daughter, you name her like Calliope or something like that? No. Look what Jada got from one of the mothers at the school. Is she rich? We can't phone no Ferrero Rocher. We can't even say that. Fer me. Ferrero Rocher. She's raising a nice little boy though. So go her. And what's the update on little Elijah? My people constantly ask me. Well, he hasn't come to program. Uh huh. But one of the kids, you know, the one who the cops are talking to. Uh huh. I asked him, I'm like, you have class with him? And he's like, yeah. Mm -hmm. He goes, he seems happier, Miss Jada. He goes, he actually wears different clothes every day and, you know, looks more Aww, clean. Aw, foster mom's taking care of him? Mm -hmm. Praise God. He knew what he was doing when he ran away. I think so, too. So there you go, Bessie. That's the update, because Bessie was praying, man. Bessie's one of my prayer warriors. <laughs> she was praying for that little boy. You know Facebook had put that stuff out to 20,000 people a day? I would complain and say put my videos out to 20,000, but I appreciate that at least they did that <laughs> so we could find this baby. Sure. Hey, 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 how much calories in one of these things? So much of my, my body. I want to taste one. <laughs> it is. Bring two pound on dollars. Say. 150 for two. Woo! 75 in one? Not all close. Damn. What's you gotta stop eating that, girl. You got nuts. Like a, uh, you got nuts. I want to eat some dessert. My son broke, buddy. Hmm? My son broke. Why are you going to broke? Yeah, you want to try it? Was like, I was going to get there burned is. or it was going to break. Yeah. <laughs> You're almost done anyway. You're trying to make some fun out of this. 
alcohol left over master that we've had forever but it got wet like you know when the container sweats back in on the thing and so it's like they're breaking on us but we're almost done just two more left to fry then i'm gonna have lunch then i have to make some more meat pies because jada didn't get none so i need to eat like look Upa, he, he's the one that ate it oh my god oh my god he has cold food soup but you're gonna eat everybody's food. If you have a cold food soup, you don't eat nobody else's food. Cold food soup, don't pull it up. Well, when, I, when can I give this cold food soup to the dog? He had matter if you don't have your own. Okay. I'm gonna hold the stove. Get that? Again. Blooper though. I got fifteen. Today was one of those days for me guys. One of those days where my energy and my mood was like this. Like this. Up and down, up and down. I know that it's not food related because I haven't been binging on junk. I think it's just, I get so frustrated because I feel that everything that I've done for the past 10 years should be really not just sustaining me right now, but I should be like, floating you know <laughs> because it's like look how much subscribers i have at my cooking page at youtube almost ninety five thousand. look how much i have at facebook right and then i think i have some followers at, at amazon i really need to get back into making some more reviews i have things to review because we've been buying stuff right i have the um the nifty 50 lens to review and i think i'll probably do that tomorrow i'm gonna put that on the agenda to, to review the nifty 50 i did some good recording today with the christmas stuff that we went uh to the gardens to record let me show you that right here look at the beautiful christmas tree this is low lighting all right low lighting and see how beautiful it is all these lights and stuff can you believe that people are sitting on santa's lap in the time of covid with no mask nobody out there had on a mask these people are crazy I just went out there, filmed, and bounced. Look at these beautiful lights that played with the music. I don't even know if I have to play the music here for you guys. So when I woke up this morning, I woke up kind of lacking energy. And I think it's because I'm suffering some pain. I'm having some pain in the shoulder right here. I don't know why, because when I do the vlogging, I don't hold the camera with this arm. I hold it with this arm, with my right arm. So I think ever since Joe uh, turned the mattress, because when he turned it, whatever was at his head now has become my foot and vice versa. So I think he gave me the crappy end of the mattress now and I'm in pain. That mattress is only like six or seven years old and it was expensive. That bed was $2,500. It's one of those mechanical beds, right? So we got, we're either going to have to get a mattress stopper or a new mattress because that's not working for me. I don't like to wake up in pain. So then I got my energy back when he went on the ride. By the way, I didn't see Lorenzo. Remember, it's not Alan, Alonso. Some of you guys were saying Alonso. It's Lorenzo. It sounds Italian or Spanish, but the guy's a black guy from Tennessee. Joe, you remember what he said his last name was? Joe, hey. you remember what Lorenzo said his last name was? Huh? Lorenzo last name. Uh-huh. You remember his last name? 
Okay, he did tell us. It sounded like a Belize last name, I remember, because I asked him if he was Belizean. <laughs> I didn't see him, so that means, well, I'm hoping that means his brother picked him up. Because we had all that cold and rain. You know, his brother should pick him up. So, um, I still have not seen Rafael. No, Rafael is Mexican. He's like 51 or 52. And he runs every day. And one day of the week, he rides the bike. I have not seen him since Joe's birthday, October the 12th. That's the last time we saw him because right after that, we came down with COVID. And we were out for 10 days. And when by the time we went back on the um, trail, we haven't seen him. And I've, I've told you guys, I've gone early, I've gone late. I've gone in between and I haven't seen Raphael. Raphael is the one that told me uh, to not ride my beach cruiser down that one hill when you go towards the end of the trail into Upland because if the chain slipped, I'd be SOL because I wouldn't have any brakes. So he's the one that told me that. So he always talks with us on the trail. And I think he said he takes care of his dad and stuff. I haven't seen him in a couple of months. And I don't know how I would ever find out anything that happened to that man, if anything happened to him. I don't think he was vaccinated. So if he caught COVID, maybe he didn't make it. I, I don't know. You know, my cousin Cindy is feeling like herself again. Tomorrow is day 10 for her. Hallelujah. She's going to take her test to see if she's negative. I'm really grateful that Cindy weathered through that storm and really grateful that I was able to be there for her when she went through it, just like you guys were there for me. Um, you guys saw the update that Jada gave you on the little boy, Elijah, that it seems like his foster mom's treating him very, very well and he's happy. Thank God for that, you know? Um, I'm, I'm gonna ask for prayer. My, um, my mom had a friend, her name is her name is Myrna, but I know her as Kay. So something might have been her first or middle name. And I say she's responsible for getting me and Joe together because when me and Joe first started seeing each other and I wasn't allowed to see Joe, Kay would pick me up and take us to art events and just take us out places with her so that I could see him. <laughs> and she, she always marveled that I, I'm still married to Joe. And she goes, you, when you set your mind to something, you stay with it. I'm telling you guys several times today, you might hear the washer going, several times today, I quit this job. I quit this job several times today. I'm like, I'm not going to put up any more cooking videos. I'm not going to do any more reviews. I'm just going to find something else to do that's actually going to be successful. You know, because it's like you put up a video and you work hard on it and you get 136 views. And then you get people that come and go, oh, you're still doing it? Girl, I haven't watched you in a while. I'm like, okay. I don't tell YouTubers that. When I haven't watched them in a while because I'm rotating watching other people, I don't tell them that. And I can't stand a YouTuber that say stuff like, I do YouTube, but I don't really watch YouTubers. Just like I can't stand actors or actresses that say, I'm on this television show, but I don't watch TV. Come on, you want us to watch you, right? And to the YouTubers who you want us to watch you. I watch a lot of YouTubers. I give back. You know what I mean? Even with Pexels. Why I started putting my videos and my pictures of Pexels is because I use stuff from them. So I want to give back, you know? Cora, where are you going? Joe, Cora is at the door. I don't know if she want to go out. No, she's coming back. Do I go outside? No, she's running down the hallway. Yeah, so several times today I told you I quit. I said, I'm doing cooking videos and I'm going nowhere fast with these cooking videos. I might as well just sit down and figure out to do reviews for Amazon. I might as well just do that. Maybe that will blow bigger for me. You know what? Maybe that's what I'll do in the next week. Just concentrate, you know, besides Vlogmas, because I'm going to finish up vlog, 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 Vlogmas like on Jada's birthday, December 27th. That's probably going to be my last <laughs> upload for Vlogmas. And I'm just going to... Joe, we should do that, you know. Joe. Would you help me with that? Uh, if we just did these reviews for Amazon? It would be more fun, right? Than to do these cooking videos. I'm tired. 1,300 cooking videos in 10 years. I'm tired, guys. And tired eyes don't, tired eyes don't see a bright future. If you're feeling kind of depressed right now and stuff, you probably are tired. Something's bothering you. Something, you know, physically, physical is bothering you and it's going to make you tired. Then you're not going to see a bright future. So several times today I quit. 
And you know what? I didn't rely on nobody in here to build me up. Not Joe, not the kids, nothing. I built my own self up. I just went, you know, before God and was like, you know, build me up, fill me up because I'm, I'm tired. I did baking. I did that baguette because I'm doing that commercial for that third book. I never did a commercial for the third book. I did the narration and now I'm doing the B-roll cutaways and I, I have two versions of the commercial, one shorter, one longer, one's 40 seconds, one's one minute, uh, 16 seconds, I think. And the one that's longer has a part in it where I, sh where I say, look, this is how you can make one baguette. Da -da -da, and I show how to do it, right? So I had to actually film the B-roll today. Then I made those meat pies because Jada and Jory didn't get any when I made the two dozen the other day. I haven't made meat pies in a while. That's why they're acting gravelicious. And um, I wanted to make a black cake today. I didn't have the energy to do that, so I didn't do it. But anyways, at least I filmed some lights and stuff for you guys. Did you see them people on the bike trail today? They wanted to run us off the trail. Where did all these bikers come from? No wonder the stores don't have no bikes in them. They didn't care. They were doing the wheelies and stuff. And then Joe was in front of me trying to protect me. But I didn't feel protected because he wouldn't ring his bell. I'm like, ring the bell. I had to go for my Panadero horn. That's what I call that horn on the bike. A Panadero horn because the Panadero man blew a horn like that. I blew that sucker blue because they were coming right at us. They ran this one man off the road on my side of the road. And I don't have great balance to be doing all this stuff because I have Meniere's, you know, and I have vertigo and stuff. I'm like, child, holding on to this thing, trying to let go one hand, blow, 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 blow. And I'm telling Joe, ring the bell. I don't know how much of that you can hear because my music was playing on the bike and I don't want to get copyright infringed. So we'll see. Anyways, pray for me, guys. Pray for me. December the 18th, Vlogmas Day 18. You want to cook more at home, but recipes can be overwhelming because most recipes cater to a large group. The solution is my new small batch book, No More Leftovers. Enjoy air fryer wings and other appetizers for two, small batch Belizean breads, main dishes for two, small batch dishes and drinks and smoothies for one. You'll be able to stay on your eating planner diet because my recipes for mini cakes, pies and cookies only yield enough for you to enjoy a treat and share with a couple of friends or family. Pick up a copy of my new small batch book, No More Leftovers, at www.bearpantryshow.com. Shop safely and securely at www.bearpantryshow.com. You want to cook more at home, but recipes can be overwhelming because most recipes cater to a large group. The solution is my new small batch book, No More Leftovers. Enjoy air fryer wings and other appetizers for two, small batch Belizean breads, main dishes for two, small batch dishes and drinks and smoothies for one. You'll be able to stay on your eating platter diet because my recipes for mini cakes, pies and cookies only yield enough for you to enjoy a treat and share with a couple of friends or family. Watch this easy recipe for one loaf of baguette. Place two and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one tablespoon sugar, one tablespoon active dry yeast, one teaspoon of salt and a cup of warm water in a bowl. Mix with the handle of a wooden spoon to make a dough ball. Cover and let rise for one hour. Punch down the dough, then roll into a rectangle. Tuck and roll, pinch the seams shut, score, then cover and let rise for 30 minutes. Bake at 400 degrees Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes, then butter and enjoy. Pick up a copy of my new small batch book, No More Leftovers, at www.bearpantryshow.com. Shop safely and securely at www.bearpantryshow.com. Thank you for making it all the way through to the end. Please check out my primary channel, which can be found right here on YouTube. It's called The Bear Pantry Show. Also check out my website, bearpantryshow.com, so that you can pick up a copy of one of my three books. Also remember, we are not buying this book that's being sold on Amazon. Why? Because my distributor is ripping me off. Thanks, guys. Make, 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 make,